What's up, it's Miss Sally. I hope you all are doing great and enjoyed my last video. This week, I'll be teaching you guys how to make cute little Rice Krispie treats. So if you wanna know how to make these, keep on watching. So you're gonna need a pack of Rice Krispie cereal. Then you're gonna need a pack of marshmallows. I have two, but I like to use the small ones because it's easier to work with. Then you're gonna need butter, but for this recipe, you're only gonna need to use three tablespoons. Then you're gonna need a baking pan, but the one I have is a nine by 13, and then I'm also gonna put some parchment paper on top. And then you're gonna need a plastic spoon or spatula, and then a one cup measuring cup. Then you're gonna need two bowls. The small one is to put the Rice Krispies in, and then the big one is the Rice Krispie and the marshmallow, and I mix them together. Make sure that it is microwavable because you don't want to burn the house down. This step is definitely optional, but I'm gonna jazz it up with some chocolate chips. So we're gonna take our smaller bowl and our one cup measuring cup, and we're gonna scoop out six cups into the bowl. I found it a lot easier to scoop the Rice Krispies into the bowl instead of pouring it into my measuring cup because I initially did that and it was a total mess. The end is near y'all. We officially have six cups of Rice Krispie cereal. Okay, we're going to be cutting three tablespoons of butter into our bigger bowl. But before we remove the whole wrapping, we're just going to take out a little bit as you can see me doing right here. And then once you have that, we're going to take it and we're just going to outline the whole bowl with the butter so that when we mix it, it's a lot easier to stir the Rice Krispie. Then boom, we got a bowl covered in butter. Then you're going to want to have someone throw some marshmallows at you. And then we're going to try to open it. I was definitely struggling to even get the bag open. As you can see here, don't judge. But yeah, here's me hassling, trying to open it. And boop. Now we got a hole big enough for the marshmallows to come out. But then the marshmallows didn't want to come out. So I had to open the bag a lot bigger. It was definitely a struggle. Oops. Yeah, you can see me definitely struggling, but eventually I just, you know, use my hand and take it out. Ta-da! We have a magical bowl full of marshmallows. And then, as you can see me doing here, I'm unwrapping the rest of the butter and throwing it into the bowl. And also, you can see that I have some extra butter left over on the wrapper. So I'm just going to smear it all over the plastic spatula so that when we mix all of it, it won't get stuck onto the spoon as much. Boop, boop, boop. We're going to make a call to our friend real quick. Just kidding. We're going to take the bowl and put it in the microwave for two minutes. Once the two minutes is up, take it out and stir with a plastic spoon. If your consistency looks like mine, you're doing it wrong. Just kidding, you're doing it right, so don't worry. It's supposed to look like this. Then we're gonna throw it back into the microwave for one minute to make sure that all the marshmallows are melted. Remember safety first and use gloves to take the bowl out because it's probably hot now. Remember, like I said, safety first, so here's me looking goofy. But jokes aside, can we just appreciate the consistency that we have right here? So if your marshmallow looks like this, you're definitely doing it right. Just keep stirring. Then we're going to take the Rice Krispie Bowl and pour it all into the marshmallow bowl. Y'all see that? Boom. Once we have that, we're just going to keep mixing. So once it starts looking like this, it it does get a little harder to stir, but just stir as much as you can and try to get all the marshmallows from the sides. Now 
like I mentioned earlier, this step is definitely optional, but what I did was I got one cup of chocolate chips and I threw it in. Now I'm just mixing it and I think this step is definitely worth it because in the end, my Rice Krispies did taste really good. But you can definitely see how hard it is to stir now. So once you think it's all fully mixed, just throw it into the pan along with the parchment paper. I definitely found it a lot easier just to dump it into the pan, but you do have to be careful that you don't spill anything. So you're going to want to evenly distribute all the Rice Krispies throughout the pan and flatten it down with your hands. And I have on cooking gloves, so that's definitely helpful so your hands don't get sticky. This step is definitely optional as well, but I have cookie cutters and I just stuck them into the Rice Krispies and you can see me pressing down on it because it was kind of drying and it was kind of hard, but you can definitely just cut it as the traditional squares or rectangles once it's dried. But 10 out of 10 recommend using cookie cutters because it just makes them look a lot cuter. Then once we have that, we're going to take it out of the pan and put it on the table. And then we're going to just try to press down all of the cookie cutters because as you can see, it's not all the way in the Rice Krispie. Here's a little TikTok moment. And then, boom, we have donuts. Wait, what? I mean, we have Rice Krispies. Yay, look how cute they are. Because they look so cute already, I went ahead and just decorated them with some M&Ms that I had. Alright y'all, and this is the finished product. I think they look pretty cute. And if you do plan on trying this at home, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. It's really easy and you can always add your own twist to it. And if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. And comment down below in the comments of what you want to see me do next. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!